Hi, my name is Girl Talks Fish, and if you're new here, I've been doing a series on the top five fish of every color of the rainbow, and I've been absolutely dreading this purple video because do you know how hard it is to find five purple, like truly purple freshwater fish that aren't overly photoshopped? So I'm gonna start with number five, and you tell me if you think they're actually purple. It's in the name of the fish, purple harlequin resbora. Now, you've probably heard of the normal harlequin resbora, which has a light orange body and a distinct purple patch on it um, that's black, very, very common in pet stores. The purple variation is a little rare, and basically they line bred them so that most of the orange is concentrated at the head, and then the rest of the body has this purple sheen to it. And then, to me at least, it looks like the triangle is a bit bigger and less to find around the edges. A very popular community fish, very peaceful, gets about two inches long, very, very hardy too, so great for beginners. You're gonna love them. For category number four, I'm gonna summarize it as purple South American tetras, basically. I mean, they look pretty similar because they all have this solid horizontal black line running down the middle of their body, and then a kind of varying amounts of purple above that black line. So the one with the probably least amount of purple would be the emperor tetra. And uh, in that case, the males get a slight sheen of purple to them, especially during breeding season. But if you really want a pretty purple, go to their cousin the purple emperor tetra or carry tetra. Very, very pretty purple. Um, I, well, when I went to the local fish store, they had juveniles there, so they hadn't really developed that purple color yet, but I did see a couple that were starting to mature more and definitely were purple. So I'm gonna link over here, Aqua Pros has videos of carry tetras when they're fully mature and fully fired up, and it's a beautiful sight to see. And then finally, I did find some, I think they're called bleeding blue or Peru red blue tetras. So it may have been the lighting in the aquarium, but to me, they kind of look purple. So let me know what you think. Number three is the blue ocelotus shell dweller, but you didn't expect that one. They actually had this giant blue purple patch on the side of their bodies, along with yellow fins, which to me, the complementary colors there look absolutely stunning. They get the name Shell Dweller because they live and breed in these empty uh, snail shells, which is really cool behavior. They do come from Lake Tanganyika from Africa, so you'll have to have higher pH, higher GH, so more minerals in your water if you have soft water. And yeah, I, I guess the last warning I would say is they're a bit bigger and more aggressive than multis, which are the more common Shell Dweller that you may see. So expect your hand to probably get pecked while you're trying to clean the tank. For more footage of these amazing cichlids, make sure to check out Creative Pet Keeping's video over here. I know, I know, this is kind of cheating, but to be fair, I did not use Glowfish throughout this entire rainbow series until now because I'm desperate. <laughs> so this is not their natural coloration. Basically, scientists genetically modified some really hardy fish like zebra danios and black skirt tetras with genes from corals that have this fluorescent protein and gives them this crazy coloration. They are gonna be more expensive than their kind of normal colored counterpart parts, but you know, if your child wants an all purple fish, this is probably your best and most readily available option available. And yeah, I would say just final note, my friend who got me into fish keeping, actually, she had a tank full of glowfish and she said they were absolutely bulletproof. So something to consider. This is probably my favorite fish on the list, rainbow shiners. Now, 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 before you flood me with angry comments that they're not as purple as like glowfish and some of the other fish on the list, I get it, but come on, they're gorgeous. You know, per their common name, rainbow shiner, they do contain a lot of different colors besides purple, such as, you know, powder blue, black, orange, red, magenta, hot pink, when they're in this spawning craziness. And I would say they're one of the few fish that are native to the United States that I would love to keep one day. So if you are as obsessed with this fish as I am, make sure to check out these awesome videos on Fish Folks channel, because he's got a lot. Now I do have an honorable mentions category of fish that didn't quite make the list. For example, if you type in purple fish, sometimes diamond tetras show up because apparently the males can get faintly purple fins when they're really excited, but 
Anytime I've seen them, their fins look more translucent to me. Um, another one would be the Violet Cory Catfish. And this is an absolutely adorable cat, Cory Catfish. I would love to keep them one day, but to me, that smudge spot that's near the base of their tail looks more like a slate gray. So if you've kept them in person, let me know. Maybe they're purple in real life. And then finally, we have the Purple Mosaic Guppy. And there's other purple versions as well. And the only reason why I didn't include them on the list, even though they are clearly very, very purple, is because I already used guppies in my top five yellow list. So if you wanna check out more footage of purple guppies, go to Jaden Aquatics channel, and here's the video linked in the card. And that's a wrap. If you missed any of the other top five fish of every color of the rainbow, check it out over here. Otherwise, take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.